This week in connectivity and security tech news, Starlink direct to sell had a natural disaster test run. Apple is getting deeper into the satellite market and Trump might help Elon Musk take control of India's satellite market. Starlink got permission from the FCC to temporarily turn on its new service that lets you connect directly to satellites from your existing phone if you have T-Mobile. Here's how it works. If your T-Mobile phone cannot connect to any towers around, it'll try connecting to a satellite and use that as a tower. Now, according to PC Mag, 27,000 devices have already used this service during hurricanes and sent 250,000 messages. Now, Starlink currently only has 250 out of their 6,000 satellites that have been upgraded with this cellular technology. So SpaceX says that in order to start offering services like voice calls, they're going to need to have at least 300 satellites. There just aren't enough to give full coverage. So for now, it's just SMS texts. But in the future, you'll start seeing voice and internet access. Now, before we get into what Apple is doing with Global Star satellites, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Thanks, Alex. I'm Brian from Speedify, and Speedify is an app for all platforms that's designed from the ground up to be the best mobile VPN. So it's secure, and it lets you combine all of your internet connections. Cellular, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, even the cellular connections of devices near you. It's available for phones, computers, and even routers. You can download it from our website, the App Store, or the Play Store. So download it today. Thanks, Brian. Apple is taking a 20% stake worth $400 million in satellite company GlobalStar. And they're making an additional prepayment of $1.1 billion for improvements in the satellite infrastructure. You might know GlobalStar from their old-time satellite cell phones, the ones with the big antennas. But Apple's iPhone satellite service is a direct-to-sell like Starlinks, although it's possible to have both on your phone if you have a T-Mobile phone. How does that work? Well, if you have T-Mobile on a recent iPhone, first your phone is gonna try to use the T-Mobile towers around it. If those don't work, then T-Mobile will try to go to the Starlink satellites. And if those don't work, it'll report to the phone that doesn't have working cell, which will let Apple go into its emergency mode where it'll try to use the Global Star. Again, text only. And no, you can't combine these with Speedify. This stuff is all hidden underneath. Apple service is just text and just in case of emergency. Now, according to The Verge, they might start charging for it in the future. But for now, Apple's texting in case of emergency service is free up through 2025. Because of Musk's recent successes with direct to sell and Starlink, especially in remote areas struggling with connectivity, and Trump's recent endorsement of Elon Elon Musk for keeping people connected during hurricanes, there's more buzz than ever for Starlink in India. It is a massive untapped market for satellite internet. Indian telecoms Geo and Airtel want to take over that race too. But since Starlink is not just for remote areas, it's also pretty good in cities, the telecoms are worried. Geo stressed that the government should allocate the spectrum through auction to create a level playing field. And Airtel has said that satellite companies with urban ambitions, like Starlink, must buy spectrum like telecom companies. But Starlink is in the right. They just want the rules applied as written. The rules say satellite services do not get auctioned. The spectrum gets allocated by a sane plan written by the bureaucrats. And the rules are well thought out and similar to what other countries have used successfully. Finally, President Trump is likely to step up for his friend, supporter, and person who employs thousands of Americans, Elon Musk. Because after all, if this is successful, it's going to create more jobs in America. Win, win, win from his point of view. That's it. For more connectivity tech news like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button.